Welcome to the Yes, you're a man. Hi friends, today we are going to discuss the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. So before that, let us discuss zeros of a polynomial. We have seen all these in the previous video, but let me repeat once again. Zeros of a polynomial, a root or a zero of a polynomial are the value of x that cause the polynomial to zero or make y is equal to zero. It is an x-intercept. So in a simpler way, how can you explain zero? root is the x value and 0 is the y value. So for example, let me take on value x square plus 3x plus 2. So this is the quadratic polynomial and we are equating that to 0. So we are making the y value 0. See, we are making the y value 0. For example, let us take this polynomial y is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2. Okay. And now we are making the y value 0 to get the x value. So root is the x value and 0 is the y value. See here, if you factorize what are all the values you will get? 1, 2. So x plus 1, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1. How will you get that? x plus 1. x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this you will get x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 2. So what are the roots you have got? The roots obtained are x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 2. So here root is the x value and 0 is the y value and we can call 0 as root. Now let us discuss the relationship between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial. So now I am taking a linear polynomial. Zero, 0 of a linear polynomial. So what is the polynomial? Ax. If it is a linear polynomial, the expression will be Ax plus b. So the polynomial is Ax plus b. So the here, here the degree or the power of x is 1. So this is a linear polynomial. And this we can directly get the value minus b by a. Just see how we are getting. ax plus b. So we have to equate to the y. Uh, the y value will be 0. So ax plus b is equal to 0. ax is equal to minus b. Minus b. And x is equal to minus b by a. So 0 of a linear polynomial will be minus b by a. And next, in a quadratic polynomial. So what is a quadratic polynomial? The variable the highest degree of the variable should be 2. So the highest degree of the variable is 2 here. And this is a quadratic polynomial. This is the general equation of a quadratic polynomial. And we have some uh, formula. Sum of zeros is. To, sum of zeros is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. And product of zeros is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. That is here. What is the coefficient of x? B. And you have a negative term here. So minus b minus b coefficient of x square is a. So minus b by a. So keep in mind that sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. And this is the general form of the quadratic polynomial. And product of zeros is constant term by coefficient of x square. So constant term, what is constant term? C. C by a. Coefficient of x square is a. So sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros is equal to c by a. You will understand more clearly when doing the problems. First problem, find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficient. Okay, so what is the polynomial given? x square plus 7x plus 10. And what you have to find, you have to find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial and you have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. So let us take the polynomial first, x square plus 7x plus 10, then we have to equate that to 0, right? Because we, you need to get the x value, that is the root, that is the 0. 
x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. So what will you get? You can factorize that. So when you factorize, you can write 10 here. Uh, 1, 10 and 2. 5s are 10. So this condition will suit. So 2 plus 5 will be 7. So you can take this value. So x plus 2 and x plus 5 is equal to 0. So what are all the zeros you are getting? x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 5. So how will you get this? You have to equate that to 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then you will be getting x is equal to minus 2 and x plus 5 is equal to 0. You will be getting x is equal to minus 5. So what are all the values you got? x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 5. So these are the zeros you have got. Now we know the formula using the coefficients right so what are the sum of the coefficients that is sum of zeros i'm sorry sum of zeros what are the formula for sum of zeros sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a so this quadratic equation what is the quadratic equation you have x square plus 7x plus 10 is the quadratic equation you have and here your a value is 1. It is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Right? So your a value is 1 and b value is 7 and c value is 10. Okay? So a value is 1, b value is 7 and c value is 10. So what is the formula? Minus b by a. So minus b by a b is 7 here minus already it is in the formula so minus then b is 7 a is 1 so sum of zeros is equal to minus 7 now what are the product of zeros c by a so what is c 10 c is c by a is equal to 10 by 1. C is equal to 10 and A is equal to 1. So 10 by 1. So product of zeros is equal to 10. Then just see here you have got zeros. Here you have written using the coefficients. Here you have found the sum of zeros and product of zeros using the coefficients. Okay. Now you are going to find the same using the zeros. So x is equal to. So let us see the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to. What are all the zeros here obtained? Minus 2. Minus 2. Plus minus 5. Which is equal to minus 7. So sum of zeros is equal to minus 7. So just see here what you have obtained sum of zeros is equal to minus 7. This is done using the zeros obtained and this is done using the coefficients. See same values you have got. Now just see the product of zeros using the zeros obtained. Product of zeros. So minus 2 into minus 5. So 2 into 5 is 10 and minus into minus is plus. So product of zeros. So just see the product of zeros is 10 and here also this is done using the coefficients. Product of zeros is equal to 10. So that's all with this problem. Next problem. Find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 3 and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficient. So the same you have to do as the previous problem. So the polynomial given is x square minus 3 and here you have to find the zeros of the polynomial and after that you have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficient. So same you have to do as previous problem. You have to find the sum of zeros, product of zeros and then you have to verify with the coefficient formula. Now let us start doing the problem x square minus 3. So to find the zeros, we can make the y value 0. So x square minus 3 is equal to 0. So you can uh, write this as x square minus root 3 square. 
so you just see here in the rough work root 3 square can be written as root 3 into root 3 that is nothing but root 3 and that is 3 so I I have written this root 3 as this 3 as root 3 the whole square so 3 can be written as root 3 the whole square in order to factorize it so what will you get you can apply the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b once again i'll write here the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b okay so that this is of the form a square minus b square so a is what x and b is root 3 so x plus root 3 and x minus root 3 is equal to 0 so you will be getting two values for x that is x is equal to root 3 and x is equal to minus root 3 okay so when you uh, write equate this x plus root 3 to 0 you will be getting x is equal to minus root 3 and when you equate x minus root 3 to 0 you will be getting x is equal to root 3 okay so you will get two values x is equal to root 3 and x is equal to minus root 3 so here sum of zeros what is the coefficient formula minus b by a and product of zeros c by a okay so see the general equation ax square plus bx plus c so here a is 1 so we have from the from our polynomial a is equal to 1 and b value we don't have any x value here so b is equal to 0 we don't have any x value in the given polynomial that's why i'm writing b is equal to 0 and c c is minus 3 c is minus 3 so you can apply the coefficient formula sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a so what is b 0 and a is 1 so 0 by 1 that is nothing but 0 and here product of zeros is c by a c is minus 3 and a is again 1 a is 1 here so minus 3 by 1 is minus 3 just see in this so this is these values are obtained using the coefficient formula now we are going to write using zeros obtained so sum of zeros so what are the zeros obtained root 3 minus root 3 so plus root 3 minus root 3 will be 0 so sum of zeros is 0 and product of zeros root 3 into minus root 3 so root 3 into minus root 3 will be so minus 1 I can uh, write it as minus 1 or something like that so minus 1 I am writing the rough um, a rough value here so 1 okay here I'm, let me write so root 3 this one I am writing outside so root 3 into root 3 it will be 3 so minus 3 so the product of zeros is minus 3 so just see here what are all the product of zeros obtained what are all the product of zeros obtained product of zeros is minus 3 from the from this value I have got from the zeros and this value I have got from the coefficient so both are same and sum of zeros is 0 and sum of zeros from the coefficients formula that is also 0 so both are same so now you understood the relationship between the zeros and coefficient and if you have any doubt you can post it in the comment box and thank you thanks for watching like and comment please to subscribe to our channel